All right. Welcome to another hour of video spot. Well, 59 minutes of video spotlight. We never are actually on for a full hour. It's your fault. No. No, no. I'm blaming you. I blame the commies. <laughs> Welcome to Video Spotlight. My name is Taylor, and with me is uh, Liz, my co-host, and we're the producers of this show. The things you will hear over the next 58 minutes <laughs> represent the views of Video Spotlight and the people making them. All opinions and quotations in no way represent R River West Radio and are the sole responsibility of the producer, guests, and callers. River West Radio is not liable for any legal issues arising from the content of this program. All right, and we are joined today by Megan Halverson, who uh, will be voicing her opinion on some startling news we have later for all you video fans out there. Um, we have a call-in number, too, so feel free to call. As soon as I turn the ringer on, there we go. Uh, the number is 414-935-2951. That's 414-935-2951. Um, today, it's all about the zombies. Yeah. So, and we have a lot of them we've watched. <laughs> Way too many. All right. So, for rating, um, we're just going to go down the list. Uh, we have Fido. Uh, I, it was a pretty good movie. I gave it a five. Uh, Liz gave it a four and a half. Um, the I'm Omega. Stingy. <laughs> the Omega Man. Or, well, no, wait. In order, it would be The Last Man on Earth, based on the I Am Legend book. Um, I gave it a four. She gave it a four and a half. Uh, the Omega Man, uh, the second remake, or the first remake, uh, from 1971, <coughs> I gave it a four. She gave it a three and a half. And I Am Legend from 2012, starring Will Smith, I gave it a three. She gave it a four. At that point, I kind of got sick and tired of remakes. <laughs> um, let's see. Let me go down to... Deadheads. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Well, yes, yeah, yes, actually, yes, yes. it is Dead the next heads. in line. Okay. Uh, Dead Heads was just funny. Um, 2011, it's an independent film, and uh, it's about in zombies that are, some are still stupid, and some are infected with an alternative strain, making them intelligence. They hold their... They old, retain their memories and their entire human plethora of emotions. And yes, they can talk. Uh, we <laughs> and both, apparently get stoned. <laughs> yes, and get stoned. And pee, somehow. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that didn't work out too well for him. <laughs> no, he lost a part of his anatomy when he was trying to do the shake. Uh, we both gave that a four. It was a good movie, though. It was It was the only, honestly, probably the only romantic comedy-esque movie I've seen in ten years that I really liked. Um, let's see. Shaun of the Dead got five, and Liz gave it a four and a half. Um... Megan, have you seen Shaun of the Dead? Actually, yes. It is funny. How dare you give it a four? Four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. There were no. a few. There were a few things that I didn't agree with. It's called suspension of belief. <laughs> oh, shut your mouth! <laughs> Just because right. I always have to tell you that whenever we're watching the movies. All right, and well, then we go into the Romero series. Night of the Living Dead, three and a half by me, four by Liz. Uh, Dawn of the Dead, the original. That was a good movie. Got a five by me, a three by Liz. It had. Yeah. It was Southridge Mall taken over by... Never mind, I'm not going to say it. And it, here is a twist in irony. The Dawn of the Dead remake. I gave it a three. She gave it a four and a half. No running zombies, though, is her motto. That's why it only got four and a half. The cinematography was great. The story arc was great. The fact that at the end, spoiler alert, nobody survives. Excellent. Well, as far as we know. Well, I'm assuming nobody I'm not even sure I mean, somebody could have jumped in the water and swam for it. No, too deep. Do you know how to swim, Megan? No, but still. Okay, then you can well, drown when the, the zombies the come. The fact that they went to an island in the middle of Lake Michigan is just a lot There is me. no island in the middle of Lake Michigan. Yes, I know this. You know this. But apparently the people Lake who Sheboygan wrote the mo movie do not know that. In Lake Sheboygan, technically, yeah. That's not Lake Michigan. They were in Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan. Michigan. The mall wasn't even in Milwaukee anyway. Yes, it was. It was supposed to be Mayfair Mall. Yep. But it, was South, but it was the one from the original. The one from the original was supposed to be Southridge Mall. Yep. Which is really funny. I've got a buddy who saw the midnight showing opening of Dawn of the Dead. At Southridge. At Southridge. <laughs> All he right. still won't go to that mall to this day. The original Day of the Dead, Liz, me and Liz both gave it a four. 
uh, the remake in 2008. I gave it a three. She gave it a three and a half. Uh, Land of the Dead. Uh, that's the one with the, the big city, John Leguizamo, and stuff like that. <clears throat> and uh, the bad guy, I can't remember his name right now. I think it was zombie. zombie. What's that? <laughs> It's a zo- it, technically the bad guy is a zombie, but isn't a bad guy. He just no, wants to no. set things right. He, he, yeah, he just wants his people to have their fair rights. Exactly. There's absolutely nothing wrong with wanting fair Let's rights. Let's say um, a zombie version of Dr. Martin Luther King. He is black, too. Mm. Kind of fits. Yeah, but... Zombie civil rights movement. But he was willing to do violent protests, not just nonviolent protests. So therefore, True. the entire analogy. Zombie Malcolm X... There you go. No, but Malcolm X in the end was all about nonviolence. But at the beginning, he was about violence. Uh, and in the end, the zombie had a choice to, to sick his buddies on, on the guys, but didn't. So it does kind of fit as an analogy for that. I'm pretty sure that's not what they intended, but... <laughs> Say cheese. It still fits. Yeah, right? <laughs> um, so, let's see. Um, I gave it a four and a half. Um, Liz gave it a four. Diary of the Dead by George Romero. I gave a four and a half. Liz gave, or I gave a four. Liz gave a four and a half. The sequel, which was not done by George Romero, but was a sequel to Diary of the Dead called Survival of the Dead. Which is an awesome movie. I gave it a four. Liz gave it a five. Um, and that's I just like the, guy, the fact that the guy had his dead wife chained in the kitchen still cooking for him. <laughs> That's the good. Now we get to the bad. Ah, <laughs> zombies. Uh, from 2007, I gave it a one. Liz gave it a half. And Retard Dead, which I saw, I gave it a two. Uh, just because it was mildly amusing. I haven't been able to watch it yet. And why did... <laughs> what did you do? I didn't do anything. Are you being a technical difficulty again? It's my laptop. Don't you? I didn't even push anything and it went to sleep. It was really weird. Well, that tends to happen. Erg. <laughs> when you don't push things, they fall asleep. When you leave them alone, they fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, and then Liz hasn't seen that one yet, so she didn't rate it. And now for the ugly. Zombie Nation. <clears throat> we are not going into the discussion on this again. Um, I rated it crap. She gave it a f- negative four and a half. So I, I suppose it had one redeeming quality. Half naked chicks. Oh, well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. So that's the zombie up on that one. Um, wow, that took all of like seven minutes. Well, that's because we didn't discuss any of the movies. You just went through the damn ratings. Well, yeah, we went through the ratings first. Yeah. Okay. Um, so so now, okay, uh, before we get into the full discussion of the zombies, there is some very sad, sad news that must be announced. One second. Yeah. Um, in light of Halloween, I suppose you could call it some scary news, too. Disney has apparently bought out the rights... They bought or, out, or Lucas. bought, yeah, bought out Lucas Films, which presumably would also include Lucas Arts. <laughs> so yeah, and they're making another Star Wars trilogy, Disney Star Wars trilogy. Here are my reasons. Why? Uh, hold on, hold on, Meg. We'll get to you. Shut up, Meg. Be quiet. <laughs> so okay, now. <sighs> Lucas selling out one, well, I can't really call it selling out, I guess, but selling the, the, the thing that made his name that, that, you know, well, I mean, aside from THX 1138, I mean, that, that actually was a remarkably good movie, too. And, and that's really what made his name. But what really put his name huge was the Star Wars trilogy. And his work with the Muppet movies. Right. Yeah, yeah. Lucas Arts and stuff. Yeah. That's actually what depresses me more than the Star Wars thing, is the fact that now Disney completely owns the Muppets lock, stock, and barrel. Yep. Makes me cry. Now, Uncle we just Jim know he per- they purchased Lucasfilm, so LucasArts might still be owned by George Lucas and his family. 
I believe Lucas Arts is a subsidiary, su- eh, subsidiary of Lucas Films. Right, but it still has its own taxes but as a it's... separate entity, so it wouldn't be included in the sale normally, as far as I know. Well, Disney actually already owned the Muppets. Right, but Lucas Arts does the special effects and the yeah. video games. Ten to one, Disney bought them both. Probably. Which means, for all you Star Wars fans out there, that's technically two sets of bad news. Your movies are probably going to suck, and they're going to ruin it. And but sec- Leia can be a Disney princess yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. That Leia I is can't not- wait to Leia see is- small children dressed in the oh, iconic Leia slave girl outfit. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, it does mean that Leia will now be a Disney princess, I guess. Uh, at least I'm assuming so. It makes a bit of sense. Does um, that mean they're going to have to go through the, the original trilogy and take out the entire part about Luke and Leia being siblings? Or at least take out when they were making out? They can't. The movie's are already out there. How, what, are you going to go out and just, like, Gestapo everybody's collections and put Dude, your, your own? Dude, it's Disney. doesn't matter. Do you know how much money they have? They could. No, they can't. Because if they come to my house, I'll fucking shoot them. <laughs> Mouth. Oh, can right. I beat them with the bat? Yes, yes, you can. Yay! Yeah, that's right. Yep. A note to Disney, stay the heck out of my house. They're already there. <laughs> <laughs> so are other people. So they're screwed either way. That's because you live with 18 I smell people. Burgers. I totally smell burgers. Back there. It's because you live with 18 people. Burger. We don't live with 18 people. What are you talking about? It's only going to be like eight. <laughs> <laughs> River West flop house style. Oh, man. No, they're all pay, pay rent. In a flop house, you don't pay rent. Well, if you get many more people in there, it will pretty much go down to 20 bucks a person a month. It's <laughs> great. We're going to have a party, kind of like a social gathering. All right, so th- this is just bad news all around, and then the games are going to wind up sucking because they're they're just going to become way too animated, and, and it's Taylor, just going to suck. Newsflash: If they make video games pop up on the screenplay, Disney fi- Disney Arts, bing. Oh God, I'm not looking forward to Tinkerbell flying around in space. <laughs> Dude, I totally have her head. And yes, they would probably have. <laughs> Dude, that would be great. They would probably exactly. have sparkles think, and a Tinkerbell coming out no, of nowhere, think, touching think it. Of what think what think about it, Megan. Di- what, a, so, what some of the Disney animators have done over the years, some of the stuff they've snuck into movies and gotten away with. Yeah, I know. And Disney has kind of gotten a little darker these days. I mean. Disney's pirates. always been dark. No, 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 no. Like, originally when it first came out, it was all the lovey dovey, cheerful stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, with, all with that lovey dovey, cheerful stuff, how many of those characters still had both parents? None. How many of those characters' parents weren't killed in some horrific way? I suppose that's true. Although, the interesting thing in Disney movies is, is if you have a foreign accent, you are automatically evil, pretty much. <laughs> Look at Scar. In Lion King, his brother Mufasa, <laughs> and then there's this British guy playing <laughs> his right hand bird. Oh my God, Darth Vader with a British accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God. No, Darth Vader's gone now. So I know. That's true. I don't. I don't see Disney remaking the movies though. But wait a minute. What about Anakin's uh, ghost? Uh, excuse me. Well, there's a already, British guy. You know, a lot of the, a lot of the Star Wars stuff, as much Hayden as I love. Hayden Christensen loved, already had a sort of accent during when he was doing the movies. As much as I love, you know, the Star Wars stuff, they've already branched it out so much that it's almost ridiculous. Yeah, that's true. Like I can't watch the Clone Wars cartoon. Why not? It's actually not half bad. Mm. It's the animation. Actually, I hate that style of animation. No, wait. They're using. What, the Amerime style? The big heads and, like... But they're using claymation. Oh, SD, super deformed. Yeah. I'm sorry. They're using claymation, so of course it's going to be called Clone Wars if it's going to be using claymation. They don't use claymation in that. No, they don't. It's all... all, That's cartoon animation. It's It's computer animation. Well, yeah, but... They okay, don't even do it. They, they're so lazy. They don't even do it the old school, school way anymore. Okay, then CGI. Give me back my Muppets. It's not quite CGI either, Megan. CGI is, uh, have you seen Avatar? Not the last yeah. airbender. I mean, the, the one with the blue aliens yeah. that live in the trees and things like that. Okay, they, that yeah. is CGI. You ever see Final Fantasy Spirits Within? No. Final Fantasy Advent Children? Yes. That's CGI. 
Oh my god, I just good realized CGI, but there's something Disney could do that would completely destroy my childhood. They could remake Dark Crystal. It was a Lucasfilm. No! Oh. No, no, no! That See, th- this See, and and that that movie is dark as hell already. Yeah, I know. And Disney can't make it darker. They'd only make it nicer. And they can't just... I mean, you can't you can't change that to animated. There's no way. But wait a minute, Liz, what about destroy it? What about Labyrinth? Wait, was Labyrinth Lucasfilms too? Yeah, well, yeah, cuz Labyrinth actually it's a lot of the Muppet well, no, I know. No, no, was... Labyrinth was Frank Oz. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's not Lucas Films. It was it was a Frank Oz movie. Yeah. But it does match up perfectly with Pink Floyd's momentary lapse of reason. <laughs> what? I had a lot of free time at one point in my life. I bet. <laughs> All right. So, Megan, what do you think? Well, here are my reasons why <laughs> George Lucas is now. Totally and utterly, completely became an idiot. His children might want to continue on his legacy of the Star Wars trilogy, the Lucasfilm trilogy, Lucas Arts. Okay. But with the four point zero five billion dollars they got, they're pretty much set for life. Yeah. Who's this? I mean, just because. Um. Well, and, and actually raises an interesting point on this one, though. Just because um, Disney bought out Lucas Arts and Lucas Films doesn't mean they bought the right to Star Wars. So nothing's stopping George Lucas from making the next set himself. Very true. So that doesn't mean that Disney is uh, going to be making the next Star Wars. I mean, I've heard that they are, but again, if it was on the internet, you got to take it with a grain of salt until there's some shred of proof. So. But the internet cannot lie. No, yeah, right. It has to be true. It's like listening to a kid tell you how they got in trouble at school. <laughs> it, there's some truth in there, but not a lot. I wouldn't know about that. Kids don't tell me how they got in trouble at school. Well, fair enough. It's, it, to me, the equivalent would be the start of any story that, sounds, that says, well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually how most of my story started. All right, what else, Megan? What's your second reason? Nothing from Star Wars is supposed to be in the agenda of Pirates of the Caribbean or Peter Pan. In the agenda or in the style of? You mean style, style right? Well, okay. Mm. Okay, because an agenda is a plan. Yeah. Well, they could also make an agenda. An agenda is like a schedule. They can do that too. Star Wars. The agenda returns. <laughs> Better than Return of the Binks. <laughs> Star Wars, Return of the Agenda. Star Wars, the agenda, the rise of the agenda. Star, Star Wars, Wars agenda, be- ad- agenda strikes back. The agenda, <laughs> the agenda strikes back. Star Wars, Revenge of the Agenda. <laughs> Actually, that kind of fits. God, that sounds so, like college. <laughs> yeah. So, so okay, I did have an idea. Uh, me and Liz here had an idea. For, for Don't blame this on me. <laughs> for and, and this is copyright idea. You heard it on River West Radio. Um, today's date is something or another. It's the 30th of October. Right. It's it's Devil's Night, dude. It, it's October 30th, 2012. The time is 5:20. All right. And um, so you're hearing this idea now. And so therefore it can't be taken because it is now officially copyrighted since this is being recorded. Will you just freaking say it? I forgot now. <laughs> what were we talking about? Dang it. I have no idea. Remember when we were sitting on the couch? Okay, that narrows it down to like... <laughs> nothing. Okay, a, a movie to make. To, to make. Okay, that narrows it down to like... I'm going to beat you with the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> um, like a Star Wars spoof, remember? Oh, Jesus. We, we Wasn't had... it like zombie Star Wars or something? No, no, no. It was... Oh, crap. Thanks, Liz. You ruined it. No, Pirates it's all your fault. Oh, no. Wait, Star Wars of the Caribbean. <laughs> Star Wars on Stranger Tides. <laughs> Star Wars cur- Curse of the Dead Man's Chest. <laughs> or no, Curse of the Black Pearl. <laughs> Star Wars Dead Man's Chest. <laughs> 
You got Luke Skywalker. Where's the rum? <laughs> Oh no! Remember the okay the spoof where, where the people are uh, uh, fit into the Star Wars characters is the stereotypes. You have oh. uh, um, Juan Solo, remember? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Instead of Han Solo, you got a Hispanic guy who's dressed up like Han Solo, has uh, a beat down Millennium Falcon, and his name is Juan Solo. Well, the Millennium Falcon already was beat down. Well, we wouldn't have to change this that. This would ha- be like held together with, like duct tape and zip ties. And, and the Empire would be like you know. The immigration police. <laughs> yeah. Um, or, or something else like that, but it would probably just be police, period. Wait, who's Chewbacca? What's known as the fattest race on the planet? Americans. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking. Wait, did you say ooh. Chewbacca or? Chewbacca. Oh, Chewbacca. Italians. So They're supposed to be the hairiest people. No. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Okay, Taylor, you just got you flipped off. <laughs> no, I'm half Italian, like, Taylor. I'm going to kill you for this. Okay, for the record, I just want to specify, I am not racist. Okay? He's just a jerk. Yes. Um, and any of the comments I make are only meant in jest and fun and not meant to be insulting. If I have insulted or do insult anybody in the future, I thoroughly apologize. Please don't sue me. I don't have any money. <laughs> I was thinking because Chewbacca is supposed to be, you know, the mechanic on the starship. <laughs> a bull dyke. <laughs> what? Big hairy bull dyke. That grunts a lot? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Somebody dressed, they, somebody dressed like Rosie the Riveter. Um, Rose and Girdle Baumgartner from uh, Boondock Saints. That works, too. Because she would rip your arm off and beat you with it if you beat her in chess. Oh, that's true. And then uh, Princess Leia. We gotta get some stupid blonde chick. <laughs> Lindsay <Who> Lohan. <laughs> no way. I was thinking Paris Hilton, but okay. No way. Wait, no, we can't. We can't put. We can't put Paris Hilton in because the only be, the only reason people go to see her movies is when she dies. Yeah, that's why I watched uh, House of Wax. So. Yeah, and Leia was actually wait, pretty no. intelligent. Yeah. No way. Right. Oh, Spears um, as Leia. Oh, no. plays Liz Lemon. <laughs> Tina Fey. It would work. Because then she could totally pay, play off the Sarah Palin <laughs> angle. Oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in a starship on the other side of the galaxy. Ah, I can see my house from here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, when they blow up on Ra. <laughs> they blow up on Ra. They blow up Alaska. <laughs> No, you <laughs> bastards! Okay. See, every time I do the, the Leia thing, like I in my head, I always hear uh, uh, Lois Griffin from Star Wars. You watch way too much Family Guy. You're going back? <laughs> okay, okay. Can voice. we can we get back on okay. what we're supposed to be talking? About? Yes, technically we are supposed to be talking about zombies today. So, uh, the main focus I want to really go through on this since we're halfway through the show is the the. The impact that certain producers, George Romero, uh, uh, excuse me, the other Italian guy. Dario Argento. Yeah, Dario Argento. Thank you. I think he's Italian anyways. Yes. You know, have had on the zombie movie industry, if you want to call it that. I mean, we even have, like, you know, rep, we have a zombie rep here right now, actually, in, in on the studio. Can we take off his head? Huh? Can we take off his head? Uh, maybe a little later. We'll Not let you yet. Dismantle that's that's for the end. Live. And yes. then we have uh, Spooky. Spooky. There we go. The, the little skeleton. The official dude. face. <laughs> yeah, Spooky is our official face now. Um, spooky is technically supposed to be Liz, and I guess in this case I'm the zombie. It fits. Yeah, she's short. I'm tall. You know. You've had obvious head damage. Oh, ha, 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 ha. You've got no guts. <laughs> and I can rip your arms off and beat you with them. <laughs> but it still won't do nothing. I'm already dead. <laughs> and you don't have a functioning brain anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> you still have no brain. It's an empty skull. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> what if she's a cursed I can skeleton. yell in there and I'll echo. Cursed skeleton. Liz, 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 Liz. <laughs> Anybody home? Home, home, home. I'm standing so right I'm here. i for that later. I already know it. Why would I need to hit you? You were already beaten by the ugly stick. <laughs> it's all right. At least unlike you, I didn't fall out of the entire tree. Hit every branch on the way down. Then have the tree fall on them. 
No, I'm just messing around. All right, but back you, on the subject. You still need to sue the doctor for slapping the wrong end when you were born. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. When you were born, somebody was yelling, put it back, put it back. It's not done. <laughs> all right. So in particular, like, okay, for, for producers that have the biggest effect on zombie movies, I would have to say George Romero. Oh, well, yeah, he, he actually created the entire genre. Well, he wasn't the first one. He was the first to... White Zombie, the movie, not the band. <laughs> For people out there. <laughs> White Zombie, I think, was the first zombie But that movie. was voodoo-based. See, that's the thing. A lot well, of... Well, that's what the... zombies originally come from. It's a, it's a... But this, I mean, aside from the voodoo-based zombies, this was the first, we don't know how these people became zombies. It's actually truly dead people rising up in large amounts and slaughtering. True. Get bit well. For those of you who have not seen the uh, the zombie, the what, what the, the puppet thing, Night of the Living Dead, the puppet show, right? Tomorrow um, night at the Oriental Theater, seven thirty p.m. Right, ten dollars. List a price that uh -huh. counts as advertisement. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. Um. Well, now you know. <laughs> um, you should and check it out. Half the battle. Or you can probably find it online. Uh, I'm pretty sure somebody's got Angry a Young Men on Facebook. Bootleg thing up there too. Actually, Angry Young Men LTD. If you put in Angry Young Men, you get gay porn. That's creepy. There's a child sitting right here. We're not saying anything gross, Megan. We're just warning people. This way, if there's any child listeners, they'll know not to go to Angry Young Men and go to Angry Young Men LTD. So they don't see the gay porn. We have some strange lady that? standing off to the side making weird comments and I don't and know. Gestures. She's like staring at you, dude. I think she's going to kill you. I, I'm that good looking that <laughs> women just have that urge to kill me. I I think she's she just actually, trying to figure out what species Taylor, you are. Taylor, I think she has a thing for you. Uh, it's yeah. called a knife. Uh, I'm, I'm that dashing that women love me and want to kill me. What can I say? I think I it's am, more so just want to kill you. I am God's gift to women. Yeah, no, God has not. got a really you great are a sense big of jerk humor. <laughs> Shut up, Meg. Did you come with a gift receipt? Because I'd like to return you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you so funny, Jaja Binks. <laughs> uh huh. And, and where where exactly is your Xbox and your power cord for your laptop? <laughs> Where are the spare keys to your house? On my coffee table. Yeah, damn. <laughs> that one never works out when I try to bluff her with that. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm trying to fix my freaking... Okay, so... Romero's con contributions to the entire genre of zombie films was pretty much the creation of what we think of as a zombie movie. Right. And, and okay, his first film, uh, Night of the Living Dead, which, ironically enough, he kind of changed the titles in subsequent ones because there, there is a specific series in the way this goes. It's Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, then Day, Day of the Dead. But yeah. he dropped the living part. Yeah. And I'm not sure why. I'm, that, I'm, that's why I'm going online I think it's to, to, to fit it on out. the movie po posters. <laughs> the first one fit on the poster. Yeah, but it was the 60s, and then it was the 70s. True. And living dead is kind of an oxymoron. It's a contradiction. <laughs> Why, I'm a zombie. What a Japanese Irish. <laughs> it was Korean Irish. <laughs> Korean Irish. <laughs> I'm a zombie. It, it was, I'm the living dead. Or no, Irish. Korean Scots. You are boring. You are boring me to death. You are boring me back to death. <laughs> I'm the Starburst, which is uh, pretty much how every Tuesday goes. First zombie. Wow, the minute I put in first zombie movie, yeah, white zombie pops up. 1936. So let's see. Let, maybe I can get a list of them in order too. Oh, jeez, now. There are things that the world does not need to know or have, like dead air. So, Megan, what's your favorite zombie movie? I have so many favorite zombie movies. Okay, give me the top five. 
ones you could watch over and over and over again and never get sick Walking of. Walking Dead. That's not a zombie movie. That's a TV show. Ah, uh, if you count the series. No commercials. No. Well, no, 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 it's still, it's still a TV show. It was made Good for AMC. Good God, that is a long list. Holy That's what she said. Sh- <laughs> can't cuss. <laughs> okay, I started scrolling right when I said, pretty much when I said that's a whole list, I'm still scrolling down. And I'm roughly in about the 500 number area. There are a lot Jesus. of zombie movies. No, Walking Dead is a TV show, no matter which way you look at it. So that doesn't count as a zombie movie. The Walking Dead? Yeah. A TV show, but... Eh. but it's, not, it's, not, it's not an Don't actual... Don't you like Zombieland, Megan? Yes. Okay. All for a Twinkie. Do you, do you realize that in half this, like, the scene in the store when he does the dueling banjos, there were Twinkies right on the shelf. I know. <laughs> okay, so what do you like about Zombieland? The fact that Tallahassee wants to, a Twinkie in the, in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. All he wants is... Yeah. A that's all he cares about is a Twinkie. G.D. Twinkie. <laughs> well, I'd be like he, that for Dr. Pepper. <laughs> ever since he lost his son, all he cared about was a Twinkie. Okay. At least he cared about something. All right. I have a listing of zombie movies in the order of their release. Um, we are not reading off the entire list. No, 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 no. Um, at least. Wow, that's actually some pretty decent. Read at least five. Good God, that is a good list, though. But Okay. The Cabinet of Dr. Kilgari oh. was actually the first one zombie movie in 1920. We have that. We have to watch that one, yeah. Yeah. Um, Chaltra Perza, uh, 1932. Doesn't count. It's foreign. <laughs> White Zombie, also 1932. Uanga. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I'm horribly brutalizing the word. 1936, Revolt of the Zombies, 1936, The Ghost Breakers, 1940, King of the Zombies, 1941. Oh, excuse me. Bowery a at Midnight. Already, a lot of those are already, you know, voodoo-based. I know. Zombies on Broadway. Voodoo-based. Also, also known as loonies on Broadway. Um, Aren't, isn't everybody on Broadway a loony? Probably. All right, let, Have let's, you ever seen Liza Minnelli? <laughs> let's see if we can find some that people might... Possibly no, actually. Um, ah, Plan 9 from Outer Space. Okay, that was Ed Wood. That does not get classified under anything as far as a movie goes. Um, Except for possibly Pink Angora Sweater. Uh, Santo Contra Los Zombies. Uh, invasion of Zombies, for those of you who don't speak whatever language that was. Spanish, probably. Possibly. Um, I Eat Your Skin. by It's uh, Del Tenny. 1964, Last Man on Earth. If you don't know that, you need to stop watching zombie movies until you watch Last Man on Earth. Uh, of course, you have Romero's Night of the Living Dead. And that actually started the big movement in zombie movies. Was Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, because then that's why we have, there's probably over a thousand different zombie movies. Yeah. And it's all Romero's fault. Hey, at least but there are some really good zombie movies. There are some really bad Whoa, zombie movies. He has another one. Yeah. The Crazies. Yeah. Oh yeah. You've never seen The Crazies? No, not yet. My dad has the original. They actually did a remake of that. Huh. Yeah, my dad has the original. What that's, is the, what is the remake called? Crazies. The crazies. Oh, okay. It's it's I wouldn't classify that so much as a zombie movie. It's another one of Romero's morality tales, though. But hey, but but. but the thing about zombie movies is they run the entire gamut of you have everything from actually scary, gross-out movies to, uh, to give an example, Fido, the story of a boy and a zombie. Yeah. Well, let's be thankful, George. Retarded. I haven't seen that one yet. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Don't. And then there's time. Deadheads, which is this weird combination of a buddy movie slash romantic comedy slash zombie movie. A slash pot movie. Well, there was only the one scene where they were getting stoned. True. Well, you guys ever want to see a zombie drive a car, watch that movie. He does remarkably well. They were still alive. Yeah, and he didn't well, eat none of them. Well, the old guy. Well, he, he got attached to... Uh, the two main characters were also zombies. Yeah. They were intelligent zombies. The let's see, it was uh, the premise of the movie is they wake up. Cheese was the, yeah, the cheese dumb was, zombie, the regular zombie. But the premise of the movie is this guy wakes up, doesn't realize he's dead, 
and his entire the entire point of this movie is so he can go back to his hometown and propose, propose to, to his, his girlfriend. Ex girlfriend, ex- technically. Well, he had been dead for three years. <laughs> and he runs into this amusingly idiotic stoner zombie. 1978 was the original Dawn of the Dead release. Yeah, it took a decade. And then the kooky adventures they go on. City of the Living Dead. I remember that one. Lucio Fulci. That would be the director. Mm-hmm. Umberto Lenzi. Uh, Nightmare City. He did that one. Zombie Holocaust. I'm sure Ooh. people would know oh, that one. Oh, what is, what is the zombie versus shark movie? <laughs> Sam Raimi, The Evil Dead. That is not a zombie movie. Maybe. No, 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 no. no. There is, you're right. There is a kung fu zombie, yes. also known as Wu Long Chan Shi Jing. No, Ching. No, Wu Long Chan Shi Zhao Ji Gui. Gui, Gui. Oh, Guai. Wu Long Tin Tin Si. Okay, you have enough problem with English, yeah, so no. let's let's just not. Either way, it. it's an Asian. Yes, and it's excellent, and we will be talking about that movie during the Asian Invasion show. There's a German one, too. Night of the Wehrmacht Zombies. That, okay. I'm not explaining to you what Wehrmacht is. I already know. Okay. Um, feel free to call in anybody, by the way. If you have uh, questions or if you want to discuss zombies, the uh, phone number is 414 414- Nine three five two nine five one. That's four one four nine three five two nine five one. Our phones are on. And you know, does anybody want to be our first caller ever? Considering we got no callers last week. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> All right. Doesn't that make you feel call. good about yourself? All right, you guys gotta call the radio station. I'm gonna shoot the kid that's on the show right now, okay? No. Let's just leave it at that. Shoot me, my mother would kill you. Probably, but you'd still be dead. <laughs> Night of the Comet, which you have yet to see. This is a zombie movie. Oh, yeah. What about 2012 zombie apocalypse? We never got around to watching that one. I've only no, seen the didn't. beginning. I've yeah. only seen the beginning, but it was pretty intense. Really? Well, we'll have to take a look at that. Yeah, we'll have to. We'll have to watch that. It's on Netflix. Wow. Yeah, there's a ton of zombie movies. Raiders, okay, so Raiders of the Living Dead. <laughs> Gourmet zombie chef from hell. I need to watch that. <laughs> Evil Dead 2. Yeah. That is a yeah. zombie movie. Creep Show Evil 2. Evil. Yeah. Admittedly, there was a bit with a zombie in it. Uh, redneck Zombies. You know, I'm just going to go and find the ones that have really bad names. Video Dead. Zombie High. I was a teenage zombie. Zombie vs. Ninja. Apparently, there's a lot of these because I'm really rolling quickly. Return of the Living Dead. <laughs> Which is not sanctioned by Romero, by the way. The Serpent and the Ra- Rainbow. Wes Craven did that one? Huh. Um, Dude, Wes Craven does everything. Yeah. He's worse than Jenna Jameson. The Aliens and the Kong Kong Zombie. Zombie Vampire, also known as Robo Vampire. Please don't <laughs> let it be as bad as Robo Geisha's. <laughs> you watched eight minutes of Robo Geisha. You cannot eight judge. Eight minutes of my life that I will never have back. Oh. Make a time machine. Spirit versus zombie. Asian. Uh, let's see. Dead men don't die. Dead men do die. Frankenhooker. Oh. <laughs> we have to find that one. Yeah. That uh, just sounds like a really bad crying house movie. Nudist colony of the dead. Ew. Zombies, 90. Is in the year 90. So Zombies 1990, Extreme Pestilence. Zombie Cop, Army of Darkness. Not a zombie movie. It did have a zombie in it. It had, no. The zombies are cop, no, apparently. It had deadites. There's a very big difference between deadites and zombies. A cop's a I mean, zombie, apparently. I'm sorry, I'm a zombie purist. All right, Urban Scumbag versus Countryside Zombies. What? So you went on a vacation out to a farm, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was interesting. Uh, space zombie bingo. What <laughs> the heck? That's got to be a zone. That's got to be a take on beach blanket bingo. Probably. Which was an absolutely atrocious movie. Yeah, the necrophiles. That just sounds like the special police task force. <laughs> 
Megan, I'm pretty sure you don't understand what I mean by that one, but you will when you're older. Zombie Ninja Gangbangers. <laughs> <laughs> Butt crack. I kid you not. That is listed here as a zombie movie. Wait, wait, wait. Zombie Ninja Gangbangers? Yeah, if, if you, okay, if you guys go no, no, to no, no, no. Wikipedia. You, you, need to, you need to make it so it's a safe search so we're not getting the porn. Uh, you can't safe search wiki. Oh, God. And this is on Wikipedia. List of zombie films. Yeah. So, yeah, there's butt crack. Um, oh, Wikipedia. <laughs> where would we be without you? Oh, yes, we'd actually have to read and be well informed on things. Hot wax zombies on wheels. <laughs> what the heck are people thinking? <laughs> I don't think they are. Ooh, Night of the Living Dead. 30th anniversary edition. But that's by John Russo. Yeah, it was remastered. Uh, oh. It was actually sh redone shot for shot off the original, but it's different actors and in color. Oh. Well, hey, let's be thankful. Okay, uh, for the record, what I'm about to say is I am not cussing. Okay, this is the actual title. Violent Shit 3, <laughs> Infantry of Doom. Also known as Violent Shit 3 and Zombie Doom. Zombies versus Mardi Gras. <laughs> so here's a good classic, actually. The Dead Hate the Living. Yeah, that uh, was a good one. It was done in 2000, and it, it's while it's not a cult classic, I think it might eventually be. Um, Teenage Zombie House Massacre. <laughs> I think they're just putting zombies right. into like classic grindhouse. Movies. Children of the Living Dead. What? Uh, oh, I don't me. know. Have you seen our public school systems? I think that's rather fitting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, Stacy. Maybe they. Person named Stacy's Necropolis Awakened. The Neighbor Zombie. Asian one. Oh, that felt good. Seriously, on the radio show. Oh. Um. You don't want to know what he's doing. It's a good thing he's off camera. Oh, I'm just popping my neck. That's what they all Dead say. Dead clowns. Oh, no. Ooh, this one. Okay. <laughs> this is the aim of a zombie movie. Daddy, kiss me. <laughs> okay, will you just remove the porn from the search? It's not, just I don't have think straight porn. zombies? This, these are all zombie movies. You're like, looking up zombie porn, aren't you? No, it says list of zombie films at the very top. en.wikipedia.org backslash wiki backslash list underscore of underscore zombie underscore films. Wikipedia is allowed to be pretty much changed by anyone, though. So. Yeah, I know, but I don't think those are porn. I think, well, though, <laughs> zombie or er, strippers versus zombies was on this list, and so was zombie strippers. Necrophiles two. Knocked them. The heck, knocked them or nocturne? Not, he said knocked them. No, no, no. It says knocked them. N o c t e m. When you said nocturne, I thought I had to look closer to just make sure the E and N or the R and N wasn't really too wasn't just too close. But no, <coughs> wise guys versus zombies. Gosh. Oh God. Gory, gory, hallelujah. <laughs> Gorgoyles, the holy terror. Jesus. <sighs> the ghouls. Okay, can we can we get back to actually talking about the movies we've well, seen, I'm just saying, Taylor? This is pretty. This is ridiculous. Zombie get in. <laughs> All right, dead in breakfast. <laughs> Sorry. We can save that for for when we do the food theme show. Wait, 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 wait. Gay by dawn. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Right up your alley. Again, another one. Not cussing. Fuck Norge. The the F word, F U C K, and then as a separate word, Norge, N O R G E. I kind of want to know what that's about now. <laughs> oh. So what did you think of Fido? Fido was pretty good. I liked it. I, I thought it was pretty good, actually. And you're right. It is really... It, it's... it's. Sorry. SARS wars. Yo, what? Wars? <laughs> SARS. The, the... The flu epidemic. Bird flu. S-A-R-S. SARS? Yeah. They're so totally making fun of Star Wars now. Hello, zombie. <laughs> okay. So, Fido... Okay, so it, it, it's like Lassie, but with zombies. It really is. And in the end, well, the zombie... Dies? No, he actually he was never put down. No, he wasn't. That's they right, they yeah. saved him. Yeah. For That's experimenting. Right. But it, it's how Lassie would have turned out if it was done in modern days. And Lassie had intelligence to gain back. 
Well, right, yeah. Exactly, she helped, the lessee helps the people. I did like the fact that the uh, squirrel nut zippers were part of the music for that movie. Bubba's Chili Parlor. Okay, seriously, close that. <laughs> <laughs> close that or I'm sticking it somewhere that's very uncomfortable. The chili's probably There's a child is. present, you can't do that. I was going to put it in the back of a Volkswagen. <laughs> I probably already know what the chili is. Whoa, there's a movie called After Sundown, also known as Yo Mama a Ho. <laughs> and this is a zombie movie? What the? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, but if you're going to make a zombie movie, this goes for anybody out there. If you guys make a zombie movie... Make a good title. Give it a good title, because if you give it a crappy title, I will hunt you down, I will burn the original, and probably, like, horribly cripple you in some really bad way. I will make you look like a zombie. Let's just put it that way. All right, because there's no reason why a movie should have a bad name. There's it just a, none. Well, it have a it great actually, title. actually, they run out of titles eventually because of all of the copyrighted titles. Here's a funny thing. There is not a single zombie movie out there. Let me double check just to be sure on this one. Let me, let me go see. I can sort it by title. All right, goes numbers first and then... Letters. Yep, so let me go all the way to the bottom of the list. To the Z's. I, I, I want to make a bet here. I, I'm at the Z's, and I haven't looked at them yet. Well, I'm actually for deeper down in the Z's than where this would be. I bet you there's not a zombie movie called Zombie. Just Zombie. I bet there is. Yeah, well, you just lost that bet. Are you sure? Name the titles. Okay, I'll start in the, the W's, because the Y is only like, there's only one. Um, oh yeah, for the record, people, World War Z will be coming out in 2013. And for the record, we have 12 minutes left. Okay. Uh, wise Guys vs. Zombies, Working Stiffs, World War Z, Yor Yoroi Samurai Zombie, uh, Z, a zombie musical, Zib Zibakana, ZMD, Zombie 2, Zombie 3, yeah, there's no actual one just called zombie. That is kind of messed up. There's not even one called zombies, as in plurally. I thought there was These people zombie. have made terrible no. titles in the history okay, of zombie Okay, so movies. in our last 12 minutes, can we actually do what we're supposed okay, to be doing right, yeah. instead of you sitting there playing with so, your laptop while I stare at you like a monkey? <laughs> so wait, are you the monkey? No, you are. Yeah, but you're the one staring like a monkey. I'm that staring you at you monkey. like you're a monkey. Oh, oh. I Pretty much just was, waiting for you to start flinging. I poo. thought she was a skeleton and you were the zombie. Well, hold on a second. <laughs> <sighs> Excuse me while I stab my co-producer. <laughs> All right. So, okay. I Romero had a huge impact on the zombie movies. And to the point of where even completely changing them to the fact that the zombies actually evolve. Yeah. And, like, they regain more and more of their intelligence and are I able to use, do simple things. I would just say I would just say, it, to me, what seems to be happening, happening is their brain is slowly rebuilding itself. Right. So the yes. entirely rote options are becoming more and more prevalent. Right. Yeah, well, okay, like, the... What was that one? Uh, I think it was Land of the Dead. Okay. Um, the zombie gas station worker. Big who, Daddy. Right. Who eventually even learns how to not only to use a gun properly and actually kills somebody with it. Shot his foot accidentally once. Well, yeah. But he also learned, he also was able to teach another zombie how to use one of the guns. He actually helped the zombies technically regain their memory. Well, no, no, no. Not so much regain their memory, but fight back against people who were killing them because, well, obviously they did not understand the zombies. Well, it's not like the zombies really tried to be understood. I That's mean, true, too. It's like a one-and-a-half-year-old human. Right. Either way, they're stumbly. They drool a lot. They <laughs> kind Eat whatever of they get their hands they, on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> zombies That's zombies and babies are pretty much equal, and they're equally frightening. <laughs> You want, to see, you want to see an interpretation of a child being frightening? Watch Eraserhead. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
and he did more than just that too. The cinematography that Romero brought to the to just movies in general, not just zombie movies. He had an excellent eye. Yeah, you you can see it copied in other movies as well, and not just by him, but other producers changing like working with certain angles and different type of camera work well, with the still the shots, the pans, the the. The, the work with uh, the camera that actually is moving yeah. around one and of the most iconic, jostling and stuff. Uh, film moments ever is God, that good. in the original Night of the Living Dead when Karen kills her mother. The little girl. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, she yeah. The zombie's big. using a... Uh, a trowel. Using yeah. a garden trowel. Yeah. Yeah. And she stabs her mother. And just the angles they use... Yeah. It wasn't seen before. It was completely psychedelic. Well, it was, you know, the 70s. It was the 60s, 60s, 1968. Whatever. The hippies were in rise. <laughs> no, that was about I the I still hold that George time. Romero was a hippie. <laughs> a and twisted hippie, but a hippie nonetheless. All he had I still hold that you're secretly a Mormon. What's your point? <laughs> all George Romero had whenever he was making a movie he was cigarettes and coffee. That was it, technically. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> wait, what, Megan? <laughs> what he had, technically, when he was making a movie, was nothing but cigarettes and coffee. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Romero, if you if you ever get like a Romero movie and you watch uh, the, special the, the special features parts where he discusses the films and stuff, he, he'll tell you himself that he lived off of pretty much cigarettes and coffee during the entire filming. What's wrong with that? Mm, nothing, really, except I don't drink coffee, so that would suck. I'd, I'd starve. I live off cigarettes and Dr. Pepper and the occasional beer. <laughs> Eat chips. I don't like chips. I'll eat brain chips. How about that, Megan? Eat Cheetos. Dude, You're you would eat okay, Cheetos I, chips. I, I could eat Cheetos. Cal oh, no. <laughs> Cal chips. What? You grew up on a ranch? You should be able to handle that. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got two minutes. If somebody calls in and tells me what cow chips are, 414-935-2951, I'll give them five bucks. <laughs> now you're just pandering. <laughs> Bribery, pure bribery. Come on. Two minutes. Two minutes to call in and tell me what cow chips are. I don't think it's going to. I mean, we couldn't even get anybody to call in last week. I know, but I but just want to see I just, do it. I just think that's proof that hey, you Megan, really are still a there's virgin. There's a fly strip right above your head, right? And there's a spider on it. Your point? What if the spider drops down and bites you and you become a zombie? Technically, I won't become a zombie. Spider zombie. That's <laughs> never happened in any of the movies. But, well, let's just be thankful, George. You know, oh, that is an idea. I don't even talk to you. I just give you horrible ideas. <laughs> I'm when so I become glad. rich and you come begging for your cut of the money for giving me the idea, you know what I'm going to say? I won't nope. be coming for a cut of the money. <laughs> sure you will. I'll be coming just to cut you. <laughs> we all come for a cut of the money. So no callers, no callers. Just one minute less left. Actually, a little oh. less than a minute. Let me say something. Go ahead. Let's be thankful George Romero did not sell his production line thing like George Lucas did. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, yeah. Actually yeah. Interesting, Disney. that's actually an interesting thing about Night of Living, the original 1968 Night of Living Dead. The reason there are so many remakes and revamps of it is because of the copyright law. It's no, it's now public domain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is really and sad. And actually like, in uh, a couple more years... Um, Dawn of the Dead hits that point, too. Yeah, but they're they're actually uh, re-releasing Night of Living Dead 3D, which was a horrible remake of it. And a lot of the original cast members are up in arms trying to get people to realize that it's a, it's a blasphemy. Yeah. Still waiting for that? Oh, no, it's 5.55. Sorry. Cow chips would be cow poop. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it was like the easiest five bucks somebody could have made and nobody called in. This is why you got to listen to the show live, people. Not the recording. Because then you can get money out of Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, Liz was going to pay, but eh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, people. All right, everybody. we got to say goodbye. Maybe the next show will actually stick on topic. That well, might be. Well, what is our next show? Our next show is uh, favorite, favorite movies from growing up, correct? No, I think it's the, um, I think it was the cult one. Same Wasn't thing. Cult classics? Yeah. Oh, well, we can do a cult classic slash favorite movies while growing up. It, it, in the end, it's really about the same thing. It is. It is. So. And there is one movie that you absolutely have to see for that. Heathers. I'm not watching Heathers. No. <laughs> I, I got. I, I could feel my IQ dropping lower. And believe me, that's a difficult thing. 
That man does not want his IQ dropping. That man has no IQ. Oh, no, I have plenty of IQ. I have super glue so you can tape his eyes open. <laughs> Shut up, Liz. I have the whole clockwork orange set up. What do I need super glue for? <laughs> so, god dang, whatever they're cooking back there smells really good. Well, okay, chicken. so we, we do have to get going, and um, so next week's will be the cult classic slash the movies we grew up with and why we love them. So Megan will have the honor of ripping off the, there we go, oh, she just knocked Spooky over. <laughs> and Megan just gave me head. <laughs> wow, I'm, me pretty, head. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's illegal, actually. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of the things in life that I do are probably illegal. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, in some way, shape, or form, or at least morally reprehensible. <laughs> All right, everybody. See you later. Good night. See you next week. <laughs>